Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Photoshop. This is a series where I create something from start to finish in Photoshop, and hopefully you can learn something along the way. So today I wanted to create a new wallpaper for my phone. Usually I just use a picture, or but today I was looking for something that specifically had like a motivational message on it, but I couldn't find one that I just really liked. So the first thing you want to do is open up a new blank project in Photoshop. So I go to File, New, and you can Google the dimensions of your phone. Every phone has its own dimensions for its wallpaper. My phone is 640 by 960, um, which is an iPhone, but whatever phone you have, it's going to be different. So, and whatever model of iPhone you have, the wallpaper and screen size is going to be different. So once you Google the resolution of your phone, you just enter that in. So mine is 640 by 960. And then the next thing I have open is a picture that I want to use. So I have this photo open, and obviously it's not the right dimension. It's larger. So I'm going to take, take whatever photo you want that you opened, and I'm going to drag it onto the correct correctly sized canvas. So now you want to position and edit it. So I'm going to go to edit, transform, scale, and then I'm going to hold shift and just drag it down to a reasonable size. You could really do whatever you want. Uh, I just want to kind of make it look like, make it recognizable that it's clouds. Okay, so I think that looks interesting. You know, you just I just like to have something relaxing on my phone screen. I mean, you can you can have whatever you want. But I also want to add a message. So, well, once I've placed it, I can actually I'm actually going to edit the colors a little bit. So, I'm going to right click and duplicate this layer and I'm going to set it to overlay. That'll kind of boost the colors a little bit. And then I'm also going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and I'm going to give it a little bit of a a hazy look and I'll go to edit transform actually I'm just going to use the shortcut command trans command T which will just bring up the free transform tool and I'm going to stretch it out from both sides so I'm holding shift and option it's stretching it out horizontally it's kind of just increasing the blur. But uh, just to show you what this layer looks like normally, it's kind of like a blurry, hazy look. And then I set it to overlay, and it, and it kind of adds to that look. And then I'm going to lower the opacity a bit to about 50%. Um, really just extra work, but you could just leave the original photo as is. Next, I'm going to add my text. So I want my text to say, don't waste time. And I couldn't find anything on the internet that was that was a, a phone wallpaper like that. So I'm just going to click on my canvas, and I'm going to type it out in all caps here. And I'll add a period at the end for emphasis. So once I have it typed out how I like, um, you can watch my tutorial on the character panel if you want to play around with the placement. You could you could like put don't and then waste under and then time or whatever you type out. You can make it look as fancy as you want. I'm just keeping it simple here. Uh, I'm going to double click. I'm going to click on my fonts here, and uh, I just I like using the arrow key on the keyboard to kind of scroll through and find one that looks right. I kind of like this one. I'm going to remember that. Uh, you can go with like a handwritten look if you want. A pixely look. They all have a different look to them. Um, if I wasn't recording this, I would probably spend a long time picking. But since you guys are waiting, I'm going to go ahead and find one. I'm not going to use that handwriting font. That looks too lighthearted for a serious message like this. <laughs> so I'm going to use that one that I liked up here. I 
think it was Bell. That looks nice and serious. Maybe let's stick with the classic aerial black for now. Again, you can pick whatever font you want. I'm not going to go through all my hundreds of fonts right now, but I think this gets the general look of what I want. Now, um, how are we going to center this? You don't have to center it, but I want to center it. So if I hit Command R, I'm going to hide my layer. And uh, if it'll pull up some rulers by hitting Command R, or you can go to View Extras, uh, I mean View Rulers. And if you drag out, you'll notice that it snaps in the middle. And then you can drag out from the top, and it also snaps in the in the middle of the vertical. So now you have your exact middle. You can unhide your layer, and I was just a little bit off. So this, you'll also notice, snaps too. Photoshop snaps it into place for you. Once you have everything centered, if you wanted to, I'm going to go ahead and go to View and turn off Extras. So it makes the guides go away. I can also turn off the rulers if I don't want to look at them anymore. And lastly, since this is a very light background with white text, I'm going to right-click my text layer open up the blending options panel and add a little bit of a drop shadow but not the basic default drop shadow um, that looks kind of out of place I'm going to increase the size of it and lower the opacity to about 25 percent just so it stands out from the background a little bit and there you have it um, if you don't want to add text I guess you could kind of just position your photo in Photoshop so there's no real real point of making it in Photoshop but if you want to make a custom background exactly how you want it um, you can do that in Photoshop all you gotta do is find the correct screen resolution for your specific phone it's just google it it's on the internet and then open up a canvas that size and you can put whatever you want in the canvas you don't even have to use a photo you can just create something abstract from scratch so now all that's left to do is just save this file and send it to my phone and I can set it as the wallpaper. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have an idea for a future video, feel free to send me a message, leave a comment, or email me, and I'd be glad to help. Um, until next time, I don't have an until next time, but I'll see you next time. <laughs>